Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP and the game preview for April 13th, 2024. And this week we're heading to Bergville Gap for some ACW Sharp Practice. So Sharp Practice is uh, my personal favorite game. And Johnny's going to be paying his first visit to the new Nerd Cave. And he's bringing his 54th Massachusetts. And I'm going to be rolling in with my Stonewall Brigade. Uh, So a classic matchup, maybe not quite historical, but uh, we've battled it out several times, Johnny and I. Uh, this week, uh, we're going to be playing Rescue Mission, which is Scenario 6 from the rule book. So this one's a little bit different in that there's going to be two clumps of buildings on the far end of the board. And inside one of those buildings, randomly chosen, there's going to be a prisoner. So the attacker is going to have to be um, able to rescue that prisoner from the building, which is going to be guarded by a level 1 leader, probably a group of skirmishers or something, in the building with the prisoner. Though, the attacker will get to place a jump-off point, or a deployment point in this case, right next to the building. So he'll be able to start putting forces on the board right by the building and start trying to get that prisoner right away. Um, he's going to have to get that prisoner off the far end, where his primary deployment is, on the far, the opposite uh, short table edge. Uh, the defenders, meanwhile, will be rushing in once they hear the gunfire. They'll be coming in piecemeal, however. Uh, they're going to have a... Um, randomly selected deployment point in the middle of one of the two long table edges, but they'll only be able to come in one unit per turn. So that'll give the defenders some time to, or the attackers, I should say, some time to get the prisoner out and then start moving in towards the uh, deployment point, the exit zone. Uh, he will have to deploy stuff on his primary deployment point to defend it, though, because if not, the, at- the defender could just go over and capture it and just build a roadblock and and win the game that way. So the attacker's going to have to be smart about how much are they going to put to rescue the prisoner, how much are they going to put to defend the the exit zone. Um, So yeah, so that's that's the game. We played this one before, and we've always liked it. Uh, We always had a good game with it, and I expect nothing different this week. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and look at the Confederate force. So we begin by looking at the Stonewall Brigade, which is Oh, we're going to look at tonight because uh, I don't don't have Johnny's stuff here, obviously. But I do know what he's bringing. Uh, we're both bringing early war stuff. So these are, these are straight out of the rule book. They have pre-made forces in the rule book. And we both agreed to bring the early war pre-made force plus one additional unit of our choice. So these are the early Confederates, 1861. And they're going to be commanded by a status two big man commanding three groups of Eight infantry with muskets, so just muskets. However, these guys are, uh, they do have buck and ball and rebel yell. So the range is not going to be great, and I should say we are going to modify the ranges a little bit. Um, we're going to maybe maybe allow one volley at 48 with the rifle muskets, but after that we're going to drop it down to 36 uh, due to smoke and everything. Just previous experiences, especially in a mission like this, um, you could just deploy and just blast everything on the board. So we're going we're gonna to do a little house rule in there. Anyway, I am still going to have some muskets uh, with my main group, three li- three groups of eight, so a three-group formation with muskets. However, they do have Rebel Yell, which is uh, pretty good, and Buck and Ball, which is plus one at close range. So those guys are going to have to maneuver and get close. Then we're going to have a second formation of two groups of eight by another level status two leader. These guys will have rifled muskets. Then we're going to have one group of skirmishers with rifled muskets, um, Stout led by a status one leader. I believe, the, I believe those guys have sharp practice. And at the moment, my extra unit of choice is going to be a 12 pounder, which will probably run as a light cannon. And it doesn't have anything. It does not have a sharp practice. So that is the um, Confederate force. Meanwhile, Johnny's, I can tell you what it's going to be. He's going to have uh, three groups of eight infantry with rifle muskets, level two leader, two groups of eight infantry. Rifle muskets, status one leader, and then a uh, six-man skirmish with rifle muskets and a status one leader. And they are surly, so I believe that means that they they don't listen. I don't remember exactly what the rule is, but it's a bad it's a bad uh, a bad modifier. It's not a good thing like uh, rebel yell. So uh, we're gonna be starting at about ten thirty on Sunday morning, so ten thirty Pacific time for the live stream, and I'll post that as well. Just give everyone a reminder. So that's the plan for this week, and we're happy to get back to some ACW. Oh, (laughs) and I should say I haven't been able to find my movement trays, so I'm going to have to find those before the game as well. Um, That's why they're not in the trays right now. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say thanks for watching this one. Let me know what you guys think. 
and we'll hopefully see you guys uh, Sunday.